Dr. Alter's medical records and I get him to admit it during the course of his deposition. Would you like to learn what this is about? Come join me and I'll share with you exactly what happened. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. I was asked to do a deposition, which is a question and answer session of a doctor in a medical malpractice case by another attorney. And in preparation for doing that, I had to review the file and review the medical records. The interesting thing is that the medical records that the attorney had in his file were faxed copies of the patient's medical records. It turns out that the patient had requested copies of her records within a few days of last uh, visiting the doctor that she had seen for the purposes of going to another doctor. In a doctor's deposition, they are required to bring the patient's original chart to the deposition. And I have an opportunity to look through that before I start questioning the doctor, which is exactly what I did. And when I did that, I found something remarkable. In every single page, it was entirely different than the records that we had, that the patient had obtained only days after leaving the doctor's office. Now, I didn't say a word. I closed the file, I handed it back to the defense attorney, and I began to question the doctor. And some of the questions involved were, Doctor, this is your original chart? Yes. And you brought all of your records for this patient today? Yes. And you're the only one who made entries in this chart, correct? Yes. And you have the original chart here today, correct? Yes. Well, doctor, let's go through. After I was done questioning the doctor about all of his original records and the treatment that he rendered, I then pull out our copy of the notes. Now, I hand the doctor the first page. I said, doctor, I want you to look at this page. It's a faxed copy of notes from your office that you faxed to the patient on this date. Do you see that? Yes. And in fact, you faxed this to the patient, correct? Yes. And you did it only days after she had last seen you, correct? Yes. And doctor, this is in your handwriting, true? Yes. And this was done only a few days after she had last seen you. Is that true? Yes. Doctor, where is the original for this fax copy? I don't know. All right, doctor, let's go through this note. And now, that note for the same exact office visit was entirely different than what the doctor had in his original record that he brought to the deposition. Doctor, can you explain to me how these two notes are entirely different for the same exact office visit? And he just looked at me like a deer in the headlights, his mouth dropped, and his attorney's mouth dropped as well. And he shook his head and he said, no, I can't. All right, doctor, let's take the second page. Take a look at this. This is a fax copy. And I went through every single page that we had and established that these records were entirely different for the same exact office visit for what he had brought to the deposition today. So by the end of the deposition, I turned to the doctor. I said, doctor, isn't it true you created another set of records? Yes. Isn't it true, doctor, that you had one set of records done at the time you treated the patient? Yes. And after this lawsuit started, you threw out those records and you created an entirely different set of records? Yes. So why do I share this information with you? Just to give you an idea and an insight into what goes on into the litigation process here in the state of New York. You know, I will share something else with you. In the course of my career in the more than 24 years, I have seen less than a handful of times that a doctor has altered their medical records. And the reason is that if we are able to prove that a doctor has altered their records, they can lose their license. And so that's why you don't see it very frequently. So if you have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I answer legal questions like yours every single day and I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks so much for watching.